This is an ultrasound clip demonstrating free fluid present in the right upper quadrant. Notice that the probe marker is seen here on the left side of the screen. A curvy linear probe is being used as delineated by the footprint at the top of the screen. The view is obtained by placing the probe at approximately the right mid axillary line, costal margin, with the probe marker pointed towards the patient's head. In this image, we can appreciate the liver seen moving across the screen here as the patient breathes. Directly deep to the liver, we can appreciate bright or echogenic areas with associated shadowing and obscuration of all posterior structures. This represents air trapped in bowel. We can also appreciate an anechoic area above the liver and surrounding the liver tip here, which represents free fluid. In the setting of acute trauma or suspected ruptured ectopic pregnancy, this is concerning for intra-abdominal bleeding until proven otherwise. However, this ultrasound finding could also be consistent with ascites in the proper setting. Clinical correlation is important when interpreting this free intra-abdominal fluid. It's also important to note that in this view, Chu Morrison's pouch is not actually visualized. Since we are seeing bowel instead of kidney here, it suggests that the probe is being fanned a bit more anteriorly. To find Morrison's pouch, the probe could either be fanned or slid more posteriorly. Lastly, it's important to note that this image demonstrates the importance of identifying the liver tip. Um, when evaluating free fluid in the right upper quadrant, the liver tip is the most sensitive area of the FAST examination. So it is critical to ensure that after evaluating Morrison's pouch, the probe is slid caudally towards the liver tip and then fanned anteriorly and posteriorly until the liver tip is fully visualized.